Hey guys, Luke here, and we have a, another Chinese match that we are going to be looking over in uh, this match on the Blue Alliance. We have a basketball that has a very, very good strategy, at least for for the end of the match, at least, I think. Uh, and I think, you know, baskets have kind of fallen out of the meta as as the months progressed. However, this this team might have a pretty good strategy for for later on in the match, and we'll see, right? Uh, anyways, let's get started with the auto. Today is actually... Uh, New Year's Eve, so if you're watching this from 2026, then I'm wishing you a, a good 2026. But, anyways, you can see that this, this blue bot is going to be loading up a lot of blocks in their in their, in their in their basket for the whole match, right? They're going to be kind of playing with a full basket the whole time. And that's going to be kind of what their strategy evolves around, right? They're going to win auto here, where they're able to, you know, tie red. Uh, in both of these goals, right? They only need to score score two, two blocks, to be able to um, tie that tie that control zone, right? I feel like you know, that's fair. If you want to, I think three or four blocks is a pretty good amount to put in during auto. You don't really need to put in that many more. And and now they're gonna just just they they have a they actually have a a chamber for for the red blocks. And now they're gonna just load up, right? As the match starts, they're gonna load up. Their teammate plays a really good one v one up there at the top, while kind of juggling these these center goals right that's what blue blue team blue team tier does extremely well right they only put three in right they don't need that many they know that they want to keep as many blocks in that in that basket as possible and what they're going to do is they're going to try to de-score as many blocks out of out of this tube uh, as they can for for pretty much the whole match right they're going to put in like two or three every time and you know three this time and then bam they put in three right they're going to hit a pretty pretty clean d-score on red here and they're going to pretty much even this goal right you can see that this goal is so this goes pretty much evened out, right? Now, um, they have a lot of blocks still in their control, right? And I think that's what's pretty good about about these bots that can, can hold a lot of blocks, right? Because now, now they're up, right? And they have a lot of blocks still in, in possession, and Red has to scramble to get more blocks, which I think is pretty big. And now their teammate is playing some some good good defense in that middle goal, right? Making sure they have, they have control of that middle goal. And... And this team with the with the chonky chonky robot, the the chonky basketball is gonna just, just kind of um, hog as many blocks as possible, and and play a lot of defense on this on this red team here. This red team trying to play some some um, do some juggling of tasks here, going to going to the middle to score some blocks. And blue's gonna be like, hey, no, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna even that out. And bam, right? They're gonna make sure they can they control that, that middle bonus too. This is very very powerful. Red, it's a very lucky D score here towards the end of the match. Every single block of blue goes out. So, right, blue, blue is now got to go back, fill those up, right? I just feel like this is the only mistake blue made here. Um, well, one of the only ones they made here is their strategy. They score all their blocks at the very, very end. And whenever red is just not able to no, look, they're not keeping up, right? And bam, they have a full goal. They have a full goal, right? However... This was a mistake because they, they, they did this a little bit too early. And Red's actually going to hit a D-score right before the match ends, right? The match is, you know, it's like five seconds left, right? And and Red's going to hit a D-score. And then I think actually Red actually wins this match here. But still, you can see the match ends right here as Red, Red hits a crazy D-score. But that still doesn't discount for, you know, the strategy. It's still, still a very good strategy. I think to play this better, however, what, what Blue should have done here is as as red d scored all their blocks here right they should have gone back and just filled it back up right they had these three blocks should have just filled it back up and then and then they went for this last second and that would have been better right because um because they had control of this control zone already right so as soon as red d scored that they should have gone back right four or five seconds done the done the the score on the bottom and then went back right um, at that point it's it's very likely that red would be on, on the other side trying to trying to score as well but but guess what i mean you have the control zone that's a big that's a big uh advantage i think i think you would probably win that i think uh i think this basketball would, would win that um also you're you're much heavier too so i think i think this basketball definitely could have could have uh could have won at least this this portion of the field, if if what he uh, if he did the correct move here, which I think was 
was to fight back on middle, take control of the, the bottom again, right? And then and then go for the score. All right, anyways, I think the the strategy with scoring at the end is, is pretty good. Uh, if you can pull it off right, maybe you have your alliance partner hit a pin right with you and, and pull up a pin and, and then that'd be huge. Um, anyways, let's dissect a little bit, a little bit further because for pretty much the big, because honestly, <laughs> if for pushback, it's interesting that, that, you know, it doesn't really matter the score or the, the points on the field until the very, very end. Right. So other, some other seasons such as, uh, like, I don't know, like tipping point somewhat spin up, especially right. What scored is scored. And you have have to kind of realize that, but for pushback, you can have a huge, huge swing at the very end of the match, right? I think for high stakes, it was pretty much still felt like what scored was scored at a very high level. It's what scored is scored, but, but a pushback, it's, that's not the case. Even, even at the highest level, especially what scored is probably going to get these scored. So then you want to play for the last couple seconds, right? I feel like you want to kind of, um, you want to kind of have, have, have a plan for, for for opponents making a big play at the last couple seconds or you making a big play at the last couple seconds. It's very likely for that to happen, right, uh, in this kind of kind of game. So if you have a bot that can hold a lot of blocks and, you know, you should just keep on to keep hold of as many blocks as possible, right? Because, because um, you know, rallies are usually played in, in like groups of two, three blocks, three or four, blo three or four blocks, right? Not any more than that. So if you have capacity for 12 blocks, you can play four, you can do four like D score rallies or whatever you want to call it, right? And if you play two of them, you have six blocks left and you just go straight in for the for the center at the, at the end. And that's, or sorry, straight in for the control zone at the end if there's not many blocks. Have your teammate hit a pin and just run that. That's kind of, that's kind of a, it's kind of goaded, I'm not going to lie. I think I, I mean, I, I like that strategy. But who knows, there's probably, there's definitely counters to anything, but what I'm seeing out of uh, out of out of the these bots is that you no, know, it's not it's not particularly that bad. Like, have to have a have, have a basket bot. It's you no, know, at this at this stage, it's pretty good because because uh, you you need to be able to you need to be able to be be back in back in the rally as soon as possible, right? Um, or, or you can have, um, a lot of blocks to weigh at the end, which is what this team does. That's, that's pretty good too. Anyways, I just wanted to share this strategy and that was pretty cool. Thank you guys.